The marks have been volatile. Now we want to talk to you guys about what you can do with that. All right, it's this week's Money Minutes, coming from the only place spring in New York City, <laughs> being inside because yeah. the weather is terrible. I know. Don't, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually here at the headquarters of Bank of America. Someone called the Evil Empire. I would never call it the Evil Empire. You'd never. I would never. <laughs> but what we want to talk today is about volatility. Of course, there's been a tremendous amount of volatility in the market, whereas last yes. year there was like no volatility. Exactly. Yeah. And I think we saw a lot of complacency because of that. There were a lot of ups last year, but there weren't any downs. And we started to think maybe this is going to be the new normal. It was easy. It was easy. Yeah. <laughs> but in all reality, this is much more realistic as to how the stock markets work over the long run. You're going to have time periods where the markets aren't doing well. And generally, there's about a 10% correction in the markets once a year. But long term, the markets still go up over time. And so as a long term investor, it's hugely important that you use this to your advantage and reinvest your cash when prices are cheaper right now. Yes, exactly. So volatility is normal. We're back to normal. It wasn't normal when we didn't have volatility. Yeah. And you can use volatility to your advantage as a mm -hmm. long term investor. If you want to learn more how to do that, simply click on the link above. You can talk to a real financial advisor. And if you want to subscribe to our brilliant self-proclaimed brilliant Always. weekly financial <laughs> comments. You can click on the link above, moneyminutes.com, be a subscriber. And that's this week's Money Minutes. As always, be, be bullish. bullish.